I think this is a good good thing. What is the difference between a nautical mile and a regular mile, like the mile? So, so I I don't know if we have any anyone anyone I, on the will, audience I, who wants to answer this question. I, okay, the thing is my as, trivia question. As as someone who comes from the you know imperial measurement system, um, right? Um, I am um, also imperial measurement system. Yeah, the thing uh, is, but so but a mile miles is and the nautical miles actually not only used in in um, in the um, you know just just in one area it's also uh, used in in air and space also like mm -hmm. so it's not only for for just just for the sea okay. basically and it it's just like a it's just the the answer is also is also funny for this well there's also of course the um scientific answer for that but i don't want to get into that i think this is like easily researched and found out maybe in in school i don't know like um my kids don't actually have the same school level of education that we used to have in schools we used to get you know learn about latitudes and longitudes the parallels and the meridians right so this is like a degrees and, and minutes so that's where it goes okay but the the short answer for for this is earth is not flat because because <laughs> because uh, circumreference of the of the earth the, it's, it's round and it's divided in, into degrees you actually cannot tell a location with just with just a, or a distance or a speed with just a, with just like where it's at. You have to actually have the have the uh, coordinates for the location. So between those two points, which which we can say A and B, you actually have to measure it by the degrees of the latitudes and the longitudes. So that's the difference between a regular mile and a, and a nautical mile. And there is actually a a difference in in distance. So it's it's one one nautical mile is actually equal to 1.88 kilometers, which which is which is 1,852 meters. This is a little strange because, having lived in in, in both in imperial and metric systems in my life, I had to do this calculation at all times, and I always calculated with 1.1.6 because on the land the land nautical miles it's it's 1.6 uh, kilometers versus 1.8 on, on the sea. So there is a difference between the nautical uh, mile and a mile, it's, which is 1.15. So I think enough with this, <laughs> but uh, it's, I, I think it's an, interesting, it's an interesting point. And then there's also a measurement of, of speed, which is also different, has a completely different story about the knots. And when we are at the sea sailing, we tell our, our speed not on miles, not on nautical miles, but but on knots, because there was a measurement system was was based off of a knot, basically a knot that was actually um, left behind the boat and uh, and uh, and actually uh, measured by by calculating the speed of the number of knots that you actually uh, pulled together. So there's there's that story also. Anyway, uh, I hope you find this uh, entertaining information. Very and, much so. Uh, I mean, with Kubernetes, we're always talking about all these nautical things, whether it's about Helm or things like that. So it's right. It's That's crazy. why they, that that Helm chart actually fits right in to the slide. And uh, I was like, okay, you know, this this is actually exactly what the the sailing um, uh, the Helm charts and the Kubernetes. Yes, that's about that. Mm -hmm.